Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Humanity's journey through the illusion has been long and arduous. You have all spent many lifetimes trying to find your way home. As you know from personal experience much suffering is undergone as you search for love and are betrayed or abandoned by those who you would relate to with love. It often seems that life is not meant to be either happy or enjoyable, but more likely a path that involves much pain and suffering. And those who lead so-called good lives are just as likely to suffer as anyone else. There appears to be little point in behaving well for it seems to make absolutely no difference, as the rewards available within the illusion often seem to be awarded to those least worthy to receive them. The illusion is an insane environment. It was built collectively to enable you to separate yourselves from your divine source, and to access that unreal state, love, your true nature, had to be excluded. But of course you all desperately want to love and to be loved, and so you seek love from one another endlessly. The illusion is truly a most confusing place in which you can never find that which you are endlessly seeking love because it has been excluded, shut out. What passes for love is often behavior driven by guilt, fear, or low self-esteem. So please know that you were created perfect, that nothing can change that, and that your apparent abilities and competences, or lack of them, as experienced as you live life in the illusion are just illusory limitations. They are but tools that you can use to demonstrate to yourselves that the illusion is illusory, unreal. As you have so often been told God is love, and God contains within himself all that exists, all of his divine creation. That concept makes absolutely no sense when you are confined within the illusion and therefore severely limited by the restrictions it places upon your intelligence and upon your ability to understand what God is in any meaningful way. The idea in building it was to construct something extremely limited because that was the only way that apparent separation from God, from your divine source could be achieved. Separation from God is impossible but an imaginary or unreal place of separation was possible, and that is what you built. It is indeed a terrifying and nightmarish place or situation. Fortunately you will awaken from it. God's love for you is utterly beyond your ability to imagine or conceive of, consequently when you chose to leave home he instantly provided the means for your return, for your awakening. All that you need do is to stop trying to find your own way because there isn't one. The only way home is God's way, and you find that by releasing your hold on fear, anger, resentment, and judgment, and by embracing forgiveness. Forgiveness is the antidote to the illusion, the solvent in which it is dissolved, and it has been available to you ever since you entered into the illusion. In heaven, in love, in God, there is no need for forgiveness as there is nothing to forgive, there nothing exists that is not in perfect harmony and alignment with love your natural state, the state that in truth you have never left because there is nowhere else. The fact that you exist proves that you are one with God, and therefore with each other. But the state of separation you appear to inhabit insists that this not the case, it insists that the opposite is true, that you are separate, alone, and insignificant. And so you have spent eons in confusion looking for something that cannot be found outside yourselves. God is in you as you are in God. However, the nightmare that you conceived of and built, due to the limitations that you made an essential part of it, has effectively placed a veil, a curtain, or a shield between you and you, between you and God, between you and reality. It is made of your choice to see separation as real, dangerous, and constantly threatening your lives, and in an environment like that there is no room for trust, for honesty, for integrity, or for love. The more deeply you attempt to engage with the illusion the more real it appears to be and the more suffering and betrayal you experience. You engage with it by judging it, and either trying to improve it by changing it, or taking advantage of it and seeking power over others. It does seem to offer enormous possibilities to those who choose to be sufficiently savage and unrestrained to attempt to control and run it as they see fit by fear and force of arms. While those of you who pray for world peace are constantly being reminded of the intense and unjustifiable suffering that so many are undergoing all across the world. 
However, no one is in the wrong place. Everyone on earth is a dearly beloved child of God, everyone has already received everything from God, and that includes free will and the freedom to choose which path they will follow when they incarnate as a human in the illusion. No one has been shortchanged. This does not mean that the suffering that someone undergoes during an earth life is in any way justified, or is a well-deserved punishment for misbehavior in a previous incarnation. Everyone incarnate as a human on earth has made a spiritually guided choice to embark on a series of learning experiences best suited to their individual needs. No one on earth can know why another is following a particular path. All anyone can do, and it is the most appropriate course of action to follow, is to offer love, honesty and compassion to everyone with whom they interact, and if they feel they have been hurt or offended then to offer forgiveness. Remember that there is a spiritual purpose in every meeting, in every interaction, and in every relationship. Whether its meaning becomes apparent to you is not of great importance, the important part of being human is to practice being loving, compassionate and forgiving in every situation in which you find yourselves so that you learn your own lessons and let go of any aspects of yourselves that are unloving, aspects that are in fact unhelpful self-sought attachments helping to hold you hostage to the illusion. Love practiced honestly and with integrity, as opposed to conditionally or manipulatively, brings peace, healing, and joy. Any other form of loving is not worthy of the name, and always results in pain. If you will make the intent to practice loving behavior in all your thoughts words and actions, and if you will keep reaffirming that intent, then your life will flow more easily, encouraging you to keep reaffirming that intent. You have probably noticed that those who behave lovingly are generally far happier than those who are forever finding fault, with themselves, with others or with the world in general. And that is because your true nature is love. Peace and happiness are found by being your true selves, by loving and forgiving, and by letting go of judgment, resentment and hatred, and that, of course, is being true to yourselves. It is also your path to awakening. Never forget that there is nothing you can do to make God withdraw his love from you, or in any way alter his feelings for you. His love surrounds you in every moment of your eternal existence. Without it, and that is impossible, your existence would cease, because it is the source of your life. You are one with God, and that knowledge is to become most brilliantly manifest, filling you with immeasurable joy. With so very much love, Saul.